Hey everybody, this is Mr. V, and this is Apes Topic 2.6 uh, from Unit 2, the review videos, and this one's about adaptations. So this is a very short PowerPoint, but this is just a quick overview on what species have to do or organisms have to do. Um, one thing I want to point out is that organisms themselves do not evolve. One organism can't make a change and evolve. Now it can make some behavioral adaptations, or it may have some genetic adaptations that may help, but an individual does not evolve. A species evolves through adaptations. Um, and the way we characterize this is that most species end up having to change in response to their environment. So their environment may end up causing some big change in the background. And at the genetic level, the species may already have the adaptations that help it to do well. So in this example, we have here the fennec fox, which is native to North African Sahara, besides being super cute, um, they have very large ears, okay? Um, now, uh, the typical person might look at that and go, okay, they must really need them to hear, but their genetic adaptation is not for hearing, it's so that they can have heat loss because in North African Sahara, in the North African Sahara, it's very hot. So one of the things they have to do is they do have to pump blood to the surface of their ears and that allows it to cool off rather than being part of their main body mass. So um, this species is very close to extinction, um, but that is one adaptation they have been able to uh, handle, uh, to, to have over time so they can handle that environment. And they are pretty cute as well. So how does adaptation work? Well, there's a disruption typically, and that adaptation kicks in. So we all uh, who are existing have these certain adaptations, hopefully, there will be uh, some benefit to that. So, you know, when we're talking about a new disease or a disruption in the environment, if a species has that adaptation, then it will be able to survive and continue on. Um, some of these can be behavioral adaptations, bird calls, migrations, um, when and uh, to end or enter hibernation times. Um, those can be very key uh, behavioral adaptations that a species or an individual could do to further its genetic success. Um, and then a genetic mutation is probably the most likely and long-term impact. So while behaviors can be learned and passed down, it's the genetic ones, um, not behaviors, the genetic adaptations that can do well. So it's that mutation or that phenotype, that expression of gene from the um, inside to the outside, that tends to be the most beneficial and can last the longest. So that's how a species can adapt and survive. So here are some resources, a little bit about the fennec fox. Um, and some uh, information on behavioral and genetic adaptations. So hopefully that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.